So I didn't buy anything that I said I was going to at Vista. However, I did buy this absolute beauty. Hello, hello, and the warmest of welcomes to today's video. For those of you who haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Nick, fab to have you here. For those who have seen my face before, thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you're enjoying my videos. I put out videos roughly three times a week on a range of different topics, anywhere from fashion, some slightly more personal topics. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do head down, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I love chatting with you all. I'm all about living life loud, and what that means to me is being your authentic self, being proud to be you, and just celebrating who you are. Celebrating yourself and celebrating others. So, I have been to Bista Village, and I thought I would share with you what I purchased. I said in my Bista Village vlog that I had a couple of things that I was looking for. I didn't find any of them, if I'm honest, and I did look, um, but I didn't find any of it. So, I did buy a couple of little bits, um, and I will show you first bag of the day. Of course, it was this beautiful mop crock mulberry bays water. I'm loving this still. Oh, this got so many compliments today. I wore my pink faux fur as well, and that got so many compliments. Everyone was just so nice to us. Um, the shop assistants were all really nice. Oh, it was wonderful. Um, but yeah. I went actually in to get something quite specific, which ended up not being there. So I was watching the wonderful Steph from Handbag Holic, and she had been to Bista, and there was a wonderful felt hot pink Reeve Gauche. And I thought, I've been looking at that type of bag for quite a long time. That seemed to be in the perfect color. Loved the fact that it was in felt, really different. And I thought, I'm going on Monday, today, and so why don't I go and check it out? And that was the item that I wanted. And I'd worked, I'd seen the price in Steph's vlog. And I thought, okay, I, I've got my head around it. And I found a place to go, to go and do it. It was gone. It was gone. And the sales associate was lovely. And he did bring another one over and said, we have this one instead. And it was like a tartan. It just wasn't for me. It was still very nice, but it just wasn't for me. Um, so that was what I went in to see really i was going anyway but when i saw that in steph's vlog i thought that's what i'm going to buy it didn't it didn't pan out but i got a bit sidetracked got a bit sidetracked but first things first i bought a little piece of costume jewelry so we went to this um pop-up which i'll put the name of it here i cannot remember it for the life of me but they had some really lovely pre-loved items um and they also had some really lovely jewelry and i bought a piece of jewelry that was from a brand called Rosie Fortescue Jewelry. It just came in this lovely um, little pouch with the um, gold um, foiling on there. And it's just this lovely little crown ring. They did these in a range of different colors. Um, and I just thought it was incredibly, incredibly sweet. Um, I loved the blue. The blue also matches the Tanzanite in one of my other rings. So when I'm wearing all of those on the same finger, it's lovely because you have the Tanzanite and then the blue in this. So this isn't fine jewellery by any stretch. I don't even know what this is. It's kind of, I think it's silver with kind of blue crystal or cut glass or something, but it's lovely. Um, so I thought that was a really nice little, little piece. Um, and it comes in a lovely little, um, bag. So happy with that. The big one that comes in this bag here, it is from Mulberry. I saw this and it was funny. I was looking around the store, they had some beautiful, beautiful items. And then I got to the back right hand side, which is their men's um, collection. And I saw this and I was like, whoa, whoa, that's, that's incredible. That's amazing. When I looked at the price, I thought, okay, it's well priced. It was then in their special sale, which gave it an extra 20% off. I then got a little bit more off because this one had a mark on it. So it's a really fantastic buy. I'm really excited about this one. It's a style of bag that I don't have. Um, and I just love the color. I think it's gorgeous. So without further ado, let's just get into it. So it comes in this wonderful mulberry England dust bag. You might see from the shape now what, what style of bag this is, but really it's the colour that is absolutely mesmerising. And there's no risk of this one going back. So where I said about the Gucci, how I, you know, I unboxed it and then I ended up returning it and I felt a bit guilty for doing so. 
because I got the extra discount because this one had a little mark on it, I can't return it. So this is mine, okay? This is, this is staying. But I, seeing something in the flash, I think is very, very different. And I walked out of the store. You were thinking, Nick, just open it now. I walked out of the store and, and then literally got two stores down and went, no. I was going to go back in and say, can you hold it? And I left and then I went, no, just go and buy it. Just go and buy it. Because the risk of someone else buying it was, was too great. Turns out they had three. So I didn't need to worry quite so much. But I'm still so, so happy. Okay. Oh. It is a backpack. In the colour citrus yellow. This is the Mulberry Zipped One Shoulder Heavy Grain Backpack in Citrus Yellow. Heavy grain because as you can see that kind of grain on the leather. How glorious is this colour? One shoulder because it has the singular strap. This is just, oh it's superb. It's absolutely superb. Quite subtle branding because it's just got the mulberry on the top there, but it also has the mulberry on here. Um, it's just beautiful. You could put a key ring on there. It's got a front zip pocket, which is probably where you could put your card and your keys and all of that, all of that jazz. Um, beautiful leather. Again, you've got another, you've got another couple of kind of ring pulls here. Silver, silver hardware, which we all know I love. And then all of this, all of this stuffing. Authenticity, like care, care booklet. Oh, God, it's hot. Jeez. Jeez Louise. I mean, it's a big old space. This is a big old backpack. Look at the size. And then it's got a slip pocket in the back that says Mulberry, England, Mulberry. Yeah, Mulberry, and it's just got the yellow there. It's this yellow, it just pops so much. It is absolutely glorious. It's so, so beautiful. The only thing that I did think about this was, you know how people had the issues with the Palm Springs Mini or the Palm Springs all those years ago because of the somewhat concealed zipper is this going to have a similar challenge? Because it's got this, from an aesthetic point, it's great, but is that going to cause a little bit of a challenge? But to be honest, I'm not gonna be in and out of the main body of the bag. Anything that I need to be in and out of, I'm just going to put in that front pocket. Um, and I just think it is so, so beautiful. In terms of the strap, it is a single shoulder. So it's got the one shoulder strap here. Um, that is fastened into the top of the bag there. But then what you can do with this is you can unclip it and you can move it to the other side. So dependent on which shoulder you prefer to carry. So this would be if you wanted it on your left shoulder. I personally prefer to carry a backpack on my right shoulder. Therefore, I will just clip it on there and I can wear this on my right shoulder like so. Alternatively, I could just let this out and I could wear it so that the backpack was, oh, could actually do it even now. Wear it so that it's crossbody, like so. Will I wear it like this? Come on, you know me well enough by now. I'm not gonna wear it like this, but hey, it's nice to have options. So it gives you that little bit of versatility. It's padded on the back so it'll be comfortable. Oh, I just, I love it. I love it. I think it's beautiful. Oh, it's the lemon yellow. What a gorgeous little combo as well. I mean, look at these. Oh, aren't they just, aren't they just a dream pair? Oh, so fabulous. This genuinely, I don't know if I've ever been this excited about that pack. <laughs> I really don't, I really don't. This will fit a full size laptop. Oh, you could easily fit an iPad in the back there. This is wonderful. Oh, top 
can carry it by the top hands if you want to. The reason that I bought this as well is that I thought this would be a great bag for travel, um, if I'm going anywhere for like a weekend and I just want something that's easy, um, this would be a great bag for that. Oh, I just think it is truly, truly magnificent. And I love the fact that it's got different branding than my other Mulberry bags. Um, so I just think it was such a great find, such a great buy. Um, where are the marks? Literally, where's the mark? It's like the tiniest mark there. And then it's like a little spot there, which is almost like an ink spot or something. But, you know, it's gonna get used. It's really gonna get used. And this type of bag is intended to be used. So I don't think you baby backpacks. And I'm not gonna baby this anyway. I don't baby any of my bags. I'll look after it and I'll give it a good clean and I'll make sure that it's, you know, I'll look after it as well as I possibly can. But I'm certainly not going to cause myself any stress if it gets the odd little the odd little something on it and oh, look at it oh it's just fabulous isn't it isn't it just fabulous oh. color transfer could be a thing but again live and let live you know you did you know you did you know you did who knows which james bond film that is from um, oh, I'm so happy with it. I'm so happy with it. And yes, it was more expensive than the, than the Gucci. I had to put more money into it. So, you know, but I got it for a really good price. Um, I got it for more than half off retail. Um, where is the price? I don't know. I got it for more than half off. Uh, fabulous. I'm so excited about this one. <laughs> I really didn't think I'd be this excited about a backpack. Oh, I just want to wear it. Where can I go that I can wear this now? Oh, maybe I'll wear it for work. So there we have it, everyone. That is what I bought from Bista this time around. Totally unexpected. Didn't get any of the stuff that I actually wanted, but they didn't have it. So what are you going to do? You can't buy it if it's not there. So yes, I spent that money on that. I still need the coats. Do I need the, do I need the Louboutins? Louboutins, Louboutin. Louboutin, Louboutin. Um, probably not, but I would still like them. Oh, who knows? Who knows? Anyway, I'm in love. Really cute items. Let me know. Let me know what you think of my latest Mulberry purchase. And this has all been a bit chaotic, but I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye now.